Hello everyone, this is Sahid and I welcome you to visit Pathfinder's channel. I'm looking at the International Healthcare Workers in Saskatchewan. If you're interested in working in Saskatchewan in the health sector and would like to be contacted about job opportunities relevant to your skill set by the Saskatchewan Immigration Nominee Program, all the health employers, you have to create an expression of interest profile. And that you would have to do for you to be able to get contacted by potential employers. So for you to be contacted by potential employers, you would have to create an expression of interest profile. So if you are looking to move to Saskatchewan with an international healthcare worker expression of interest, then you are the right space. So an international healthcare worker EOI submission is not actually an application to the Saskatchewan Immigration Nominee Program. It is a pre-application form which allows you to fill out online, to fill out a form online that indicates your interest in working in Saskatchewan Province of Canada. And that would be in the selected health sector occupation and show your qualifications. So these jobs are actually a variety of so them. So the information that you have identify you for job opportunities being offered by Saskatchewan healthcare sector employers. Those who have the skills needed will be contacted with job posting information, identifying where and how to apply for a job opportunity. So if you are selected and you receive an employment offer, you may be eligible to apply. you might be eligible to apply to the Saskatchewan Immigration Nominee Program International Skilled Worker Employment Offer or Add to Fill Skills Pilot. What are the occupations that are eligible? So we're looking at the eligible occupations as listed below, ranging from health information management practitioners to the nurse practitioners to the pharmacists to physiotherapists occupational therapies, medical laboratory technologies, medical radiation technologies, medical sonographer, pharmacy technician, the dental technologist and technician, dental assistants and dental laboratory assistants. Also, we've got psychologists, we've got licensed practical nurses, and we've got, more importantly, the nurse aides, oddly, and patient so associates, which are most often referred to as caregivers, all the carers. So they've all got their NOC code, which is the National Occupational Classification Code, which is the five digit code that is used to identify each occupation or each job. So please note that there may be an English language requirement if your job offer is in a regulated field. So some of these jobs that I mentioned, some of these professions are regulated in Canada. In terms of the International Skilled Worker Employment Offer. If that is the option you end up with after securing the job, specifically at this subcategory for skilled workers, it's talking basically about those that have got an offer for a skilled job in Saskatchewan, the criteria of the subcategory, and you intend to reside in the province of Saskatchewan as a permanent resident. This is kind of the eligibility requirement and you would just have to read through all of that right there so how to apply and all that you can see that all on this page and the how to fill skills the international skilled worker how to fill skills pilot you've got all the information right there and this subcategory is actually for intermediate and low skilled workers who are in eligible and high demand occupations, who have a job offer, who have met all the requirements for this subcategory and who intend to live in Saskatchewan. So those are the eligibility requirements and those are the job titles listed as below. And that is how to apply when you get to that point as well. So in terms of the regulated fields, so we got some fields, like I said, in Canada that are actually regulated. And it means that these jobs, you actually need to get certified in Canada for you to be able to practice in Canada. So a regulated occupation is governed by the laws of the province through a professional organization or regulatory body 
and the regulatory body has got authority to set the requirements for you to practice and the standards of practice. So they would have to um, they would have to assess an applicant's qualification and credential, and also certify, register, and license the qualified applicants and discipline members of the occupation. So those are kind of the you know overview of what you should expect for a licensing body or a regulated um, a regulated occupation. So. These are kind of a list of regulated occupation, uh, the regulated occupations in Canada, Saskatchewan province. So in Canada, Saskatchewan province, these are the occupations that are listed right here and their respective regulatory bodies. So they all listed right here for those that are regulated. So you can click on each of those and look at the details right if you're looking at this opportunity then you would have to create a profile and right here what you would do after eating the um, create account button so you would have to go select a registration type and in that you would be looking at the SINP applicant or the expression of interest candidate and by doing that you fill in your basic information all the um, you would have to fill in your information and answer certain questions and you go from there. So what happens next is that if you have the skills needed, you will be contacted with job posting information, identifying where and how to apply for a job opportunity in Saskatchewan. And if you, that ends up happening and you secure the job, then you would have to choose where to go, either going by the employer's offer, or you're going by the art of few skills or you know whatsoever other options that you got that you want to go for so thank you very much that brings us to the end of this video so if you found this information very useful please like and share this video and hit the notification button so all our new videos can come straight to you thank you and bye bye